What works? We knew that it was, it was going to be a big challenge and we developed a change management plan to help that. We had a comms plan, a communications plan and a change management plan um, and it covered so many different avenues to make sure that we got the buy-in, not just from the end users, but also from the supervisors, um, from, from the board to the CEO down to the end users. We made sure that our communications plan and our change management plan was encompassing all of those people because they're all stakeholders and they were all, they all played an important role in the success of the program. We were launching a new safety management system also. So where we, we developed the, the symbols in the asset management system, we used the same for our new USAFE system as well. We wanted to make sure that our field crew knew when, when they were accessing all of our safety information that, um, that it, was easy for, it was easy for them. With our safe, safe work method statements, there's processes that they have to actually follow. Um, and so as part of the training in our new asset management system, they have to do risk assessments. And that part is really important. And so it got them into the habit of doing risk assessments. And that's how we've been able to reduce our injury frequency rate from 9.81 down to one. The average time for priority ones has been reduced by one and a half hours. So if you times that by 20 work orders a day, those efficiency gains are, are pretty huge for our business. And so restoration actually means making sure that the site is, is put back to exactly the way it was before, if not in a better condition. Uh, and our, and our uh, staff are now able to, we've had a 17% increase in productivity in, in doing the restoration work. Before we had our computer system, it actually used to take about 10 minutes for our guys to locate using, using the plans, using plans and maps. But now that it's electronic, they can actually find them so much quicker. So up to 30 seconds it can take them to, to find something instead of 10 minutes. And those efficiency gains are fantastic. We made sure that the help desk was available, that if they had any issues with their computers, with their tough books, that they could ring IT. When the first training first started, IT would actually get phone calls all day, every day from our field crews. Once the EASE program was, was in place and they were being supported out in the field and after a period of, of three months, the, re the reduction of help desk requests has reduced by 50%. So they're quite self-sufficient now. Um, and we've actually got supervisors and guys out in the field that if there's an issue with their computers, they know what it is and they can help their mates now. And that's terrific too. So that's, that's a one team approach, which is what that's, something that Unity Water prides itself on. In our training, we showed the field crews how important it is that when they put data in the system, how it comes out at the other end. So they can actually see what a board report looks like at the end or what an ELT paper looks like at the end. And decisions are made at board level, decisions are made at the executive leadership team level. So if they don't have the right data, they can't make the right decisions. So giving them that context was really important. We actually have a statistic on that in terms of, of data accuracy. And um, at the end of the first week, we were having, there was about a thousand errors and now there's only three. We've actually just finished the first phase of our EASE program. So we're just developing our second phase now. And so we're working with our crews to establish what they, what they need and where they'd like to take it for the next round. It is sustainable and it's something that Unity Water are committed to long term. It wasn't something that we were just going to, to do for a short period of time. The board and our ELT, our, our executive leadership team, made a commitment that this pro the EASE program was going to continue long term and they've continued to make sure that, that it grows. And we had to get past the previous unsuccessful training that was rolled out. And the reason why it was unsuccessful was that there wasn't really a needs analysis done in terms of literacy um, or digital literacy. Uh, they didn't really understand the, the magnitude of the issue and how we could actually design programs to make them better. The return on investment, it does actually take time. So we've invested already two years in this project and we don't see an end in the future because it's something that it's, it's part of, it's a program that's part of Unity Water.